Hey, this is a tutorial for someone who messaged me on YouTube. They wanted to know how to recreate the Subfocus Electro Stab tutorial, which he did for computer music. Um, it's fairly simple. We need three oscillators. We're using Massive, by the way, for people who don't know. We need three oscillators. First oscillator, it needs to be set up on square saw one, with a WT position all the way to the right. Same with intensity. Then we need to add oscillator two same settings as oscillator 1, but we need to up a major and one third, which is 16 semitones up. And we need to add oscillator 3, which is down one octave, which is at minus 12 semitones. Same settings as before, uh, square and saw, with a WT position, which is wavetable, all the way to the right, same with intensity. Okay, so to get that kind of springy kind of electro sound, we need to go to envelope 4 and we need the attack quite sharp so obviously you can do long attacks like this but we want it quite sharp sounding so the attack I mean for those who don't know you get attack, decay, sustain, release attack is how fast your envelope opens decay is obviously the decay time you know how long it takes to deteriorate sustain is how long it holds for and the release is how you know how quickly it releases. Um, fairly simple. We want to set up a macro on number two here, and we'll call it. I think he called it an expander or something like that. I don't know. Expand. I can't even spell. Oh fuck it. Uh, we'll just call it X, <laughs> and we'll add that onto the K. So to do that, oh, let me take it off for now. You click on the little cross. Add it to the K and we want that amount and for the release exactly the same so if you just copy my settings this one is just after nine o'clock and this one's about eleven o'clock coming up to halfway which is about twelve if you're thinking about a clock face now to get the kind of bendy sound you take it off polyphon on voicing and you put on monophon. This gives you the sort of the pitch bend between notes. Which is that kind of electro sound. You can um don't know if you're aware of the tune, is it Mason X Cedar and things like that and it was kind of really popular like two years ago but now it's all gone on to like a wobbly kind of you know complex electro kind of sound. But Anyway, the envelope which we set up with the expander, when you fiddle around with the knob, it will open and close the envelope of how much the settings you added on. So if I play, I'm playing C here. So that's your basic sound really, I don't think he had much else going on. Um, what we can do now, if we, um, if we set up our kind of stab note, he also added it to a low pass filter, so I'm using low pass 4, and I've had the envelope all the way up, and the cut off just around about sort of 9 o'clock, just after. So yeah, about 9, 10-ish, if that makes sense. And we also added the expander onto the cutoff, obviously to the right. If we turn it on, it sounds a bit strange. It kind of gives you another little squelch sound. I know what I've done here, I've set up some kind of loop. It's that typical electro sound, which was popular back like a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, really simple. It's just C, D sharp, and then it just goes down on the black keys. So let me just play it for you. So yeah, really simple, you can see the notes here.
So that's it. What we want to do, we want to add some automation. I'm going to select massive. Somewhere has me expand there. And we want to play around with the automation. So I'm just going to flip and draw any old thing in there. Not too fast at the moment. It's not going to sound great, but it'll give you an idea of what can be achieved. Let me just check what flow is. Okay, so So yeah, I hope that gives you a good idea. Um, obviously, if anything is unclear, I'm, you know, I'm not the world's greatest at doing tutorials. I'm so just trying to share some knowledge. Um, just ping me a message. Cheers.